I went out on the lash in London with Michael Jackson and I completely forgot about it. This is the new book, Martin Kemp, Ticket to the World, My 80s Story. But it's not really just about my story, this book. I kind of like wanted to write a book for everybody that had lived through the 80s that wanted to live it again and just to remember it because it was such an outstanding decade. When you write a book like this, you remember a lot of stuff during it that you never thought about. You know, there was, uh, I was out to dinner with George one night and I left my jacket there. So in the morning, my wife, Shirley, had to go over and drive me over to his house so we could pick it up. George comes down and he says, oh Martin, I, I never showed you something last night. He said, come in, I want to show you this. So we go upstairs to his bedroom and uh, he puts on Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go. And I look at it and I, I say, I look at him and I say all the right things. I'm saying, yeah, it's a great record, this, you know, I love it. It's going to be huge. I say, I'll see, okay, I'll see you later. I go back down to where Shirley is in the car and I look at Shirley, I said, Shirley, you've got to find another job. It's all over, it's terrible. So just to get my own back on him, right? I remember going to Sam West the day that we recorded the Band Aid single, and George telling me that he never liked it. He thought he was going to do really badly because the words words were too depressing. So there you go. It was one all. Was I in the video for Last Christmas? It's a rumor, but no, I I, I wasn't there. It was just Shirley uh, playing around with an actor which I'm a little bit suspicious of. I mean, there's this thing that all bands do wrong, isn't there? You know, is we were on stage during the Live Aid concert. We had three songs to play, right? We only had, we were given something like 15 minutes, I think, on stage. We did a track called Only When You Leave that was a hit at the time. We, of course we did True. And then all I remember is Tony going up to the mic and saying, this is a new one. And I could feel two billion people around the world that were watching TV at that moment go, bollocks. I was so lucky because I, I think I got to back to Wembley about five minutes before Queen went on stage. And it was the best thing I'd ever seen from the side of any stage. It was actually a lesson in rock and roll, how you should do it. And it was everything that Spandau got wrong. Queen went on and they did a medley of like, I don't know, six or seven of their greatest hits. And that's what Spandau should have done. But we, we never, we, you know, we played three, three songs and one of them was a new one. That's how big our ego was. There was one, one moment, not, not particularly while writing this, but a moment in the 80s that I'd completely forgotten about. And it shocks me, to be honest. And I had to question whether or not my brain was working properly. Because uh, I was talking to a friend recently and he said to me, Mark, do you remember the night we went out for a drink with Michael Jackson? Completely forgot about it. Completely. I went out on the lash in London with Michael Jackson. And I completely forgot about it. One of the funniest nights of my life. Uh, but after he said that, it all came back to me. And it, it's amazing. But it's the same when you write a book like this. Because I'm a little bit older now. And I can look back. And I have this big idea that someone once said to me that every seven years you replace every single cell in your body right you become someone else completely different so that makes me about six times removed from the kid that i was um when i was in spandau ballet so i can look at it kind of from a different perspective now you know i don't have to have um, any kind of spandau propaganda or i have to tell tell people how good it's going or well it's going uh you know i can be really honest and i think this is, is the first autobiography i've been really honest with um and i'm proud of it ticket to the world <laughs>